This year, this abstract design for nails is super popular. I'm going to be using neon colors. Let's get started. For my base color, I am using this super light pink color by OPI called Sweetheart. You can use really any other nude color, even clear if you'd like. Then I applied a super thin matte top coat, the one by Jalish, um, just to have a better foundation to do my art on. The pink color that I'll be using is this one by the Gel Bottle Ink called Gilly, Jelly, something like that. And then the orange that I'm using is this neon orange by the Jalish called Rockin' the Reef. And for the design, you'll be needing a striper brush. I'm using the Taylor number two by the Ugly Duckling. So before we get started, I just want to let you know that there's a lot of freedom to creating this look. There's uh, no wrong way of doing it. I'll tell you exactly what I mean in just a bit. How do I explain this part? I'm not even sure. Like, what do I, how do I, okay. So basically, you're just gonna glop. Is that the word, glop? You're just gonna like, add a little something in one corner, add a little something in the other corner. Notice that I'm adding my little glops <laughs> at the top and the bottom. You can place the glops in the middle of the nail, like the side middle part, uh, but I didn't wanna do that. <laughs> Now with a striper brush, you're going to add a tail to the end of some of these glops. Um, you just want to make sure that they look kind of round and swiggly. Um, doesn't have to be in any particular way really. This is just kind of what I'm doing. Once we are done outlining the orange glop and giving it a nice wavy shape, we are going to go in with the pink and we're going to do the exact same thing that we were doing earlier. What I'm doing with the pink is I am placing it across from the orange so it's either going to be on top of the nail or bottom of the nail, just personal preference. Like I said, you do have the option of placing it in the middle. Also, I just realized that this process would have been a lot faster if I would have just glopped in the orange and the pink at the same time and then went in with the striper brush for both colors at the end. This is a perfect visual, so I'm giving it a tail on this corner and over here I'm making it more round. That's what you want to do with your gloves. Here I'm just going in with a second layer. It was really hard to get this color to stay on evenly. I probably should have put a little bit more product in the beginning, I'm not sure. It's just kind of like a thing with neon colors. If you use a darker color, you probably won't have to do this. And there you have it. You can stop here or you can keep going and add more. Again, there's just so much you can do. The glops that I did were pretty big. You guys can use smaller ones or even like you can use one color throughout all the glops that you apply or you can use three colors, four colors. Get creative. There's so much that you can do with this design. So what I'm doing to add to the design for, you know, a few just final touches is I'm adding some lines, some swiggly lines. Um, I'm outlining the orange to be specific. Some parts of the lines are thicker than the other parts just because I think that looks nice. And I was totally inspired by Chon Legend on Instagram. He is a celebrity nail artist from Los Angeles. So right here, um, I accidentally did it kind of thick. Well, at least to my liking, that is. And so I took this um, French tip brush, dipped it into acetone, and cleaned it up a little bit just to make it perfect. <laughs> okay, looking good. We could probably stop here if you wanted to, but no, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to add an additional line in between the glops. I could have used pink, but I wanted to use orange. And what I'm doing is I'm following the same outline as the glop that is on top. As you can see here, I'm totally copying it. And I did this for every other nail as well. Yeah. <laughs> 
And here are the final results. I really hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. I tried really hard and my best to explain it. And I hope you try it for summer 2021. For more videos like this, subscribe to my channel.